Okay, so here is the, the snare pin that I, I was working on. Uh, cutting out the, uh, the gate there now. And uh, determining the length which is going to be and getting ready to cut that off there in a second. So before I do that, I just want to throw in a couple staples right here. Pull down onto it. Drive that staple in nice and good. Okay, I'm just gonna drive down a couple more staples here. Yeah, that's pretty good. I made this with just uh, some scrap wood that I had kicking around. And this stuff cuts very easily. Just a regular pair of cutters. And it doesn't take much effort. But anyways, you don't need to see me do that. I did insert a longer stick here. Okay, if you remember, geez, Keith Manning's. Keith only had a short stick on his, and I, I made mine longer, but not long enough where I, I couldn't get it out and replace it. I didn't bring it all the way up to the top of the frame. That way, if this stick ever becomes rotten or whatever, I could easily replace it. But by making it longer, my intention was to... Uh, help share the load of a rabbit pulling on the lower section here because this lower section it, it will be bent over and I can pigtail these now so uh, with, without any worries of the pigtails catching into anything so I'm going to keep going keep cutting this off pull it uh, nice and tight and finish stapling this section and then I have three more sections to go and that's what it's kind of going to look like just giving you a, a rough uh, outlook as to what it will the size that it will be once complete so this is what I was up to yesterday this is the box that goes into my sleigh or goes onto my uh, I guess skids for my sleigh and I went out and I built one of these pins and you can see I still got plenty of room up here in front almost two feet across where I could uh, put in bait and I can probably put in geez a good eight or ten of these pens if I wanted to, to build that many all right I'll show you how quick how simple how fast this thing can set up you're going along your scooter trail you find a spot where there's lots of rabbits Not real bait, of course. You're on your way. Five seconds snare pen. Five seconds or less. Snares are already set in place. Put together with zap straps. Apologize for the wind, but now you come back and you got six inches of snow. No big deal. Grab your pen, take it up, shake it out, put it back down, walk away. All four snares uh, are maintained so rapidly. It makes a lot of sense. Now, a lot of things you could probably do with this. Every year if you put out pens, and any of us who has, will more than likely have moose coming in and eating your birch tips. Well, you can put a cover on this if you wanted to. Cover up with boughs. 
I built this with just leftover strapping that I used to wrap around my garage before I put my siding on. Anyways, uh, a moose, no doubt, could take this, push it, and snap it, break it, or whatever. But you see how quick, how, how fast, and how simple it is to uh, to uh, actually build this. Yeah, so I made, I made these sticks a little bit longer. And the reason being is I thought it would uh, share more of the load on the snare pole. But that, that's, in, that's in solid. That's not going nowhere. Rabbi gets caught in that. He's, he's not going nowhere. And like I said, these are very short boughs, but... You could literally uh, cut some sticks and boughs and cover up the top of that pin if, if you wanted to. And when it comes time to, to move, relocate, or take in your pin, how easy is that? And sets up in seconds. I could uh, tighten up some of these maybe, perhaps a little bit. Not exactly sure how tight I want it. Oh, make sure it still closes. Yeah. <clears throat> there. Quick, simple, easy. And there are the uh, runners that that box goes on.